Hello, welcome to another video. And I'm doing a sit down video, which I feel like I haven't done in ages, but that can't be right because I didn't unhaul not that long ago. But hey, whatever. Anyway, happy December. Merry Christmas. <laughs> not quite yet, but still. Um, but hello. As you can see from the title, today we are going through my pre orders for 2022. 2022 seems like such a futuristic year, doesn't it? But pre-orders for 2022. Now, you will probably be very aware that Waterstones did a Black Friday deal for triple points if you spend over £100, and I took up that opportunity to pre-order a bunch of books so I didn't have to fork out 100 quid in one go, but could stagger my £100 throughout the year to still get them sweet triple points um, and have surprise books throughout the year, or at least like the first half of the year I think. Um, I managed to pre-order 10 books in total so I thought we would have a bit of a like pre-haul and just let you know some of the books that I'm excited about in 2022 and the ones that I have pre-ordered. I am not normally a pre-order sort of person, I tend to go out to Waterstones like the week of release and pick them up physically, but this just was a great opportunity to get some pre-orders in and, as I say, get them sweet points and take advantage of that deal. So yeah, 10 books to take you through. I won't lie, a lot of these are middle grade, but some of them aren't, so let's just crack on with it. First thing in my basket was Gallant by Victoria Schwab. This comes out on the 1st of March, according to the Waterstones website. Um, I am very excited about this. Of course, Victoria Schwab is one of my absolute favourite authors. I love her. I love her books. I didn't adore Addie, but I have incredibly high hopes for Gallant. Just the, like, the vibes. The vibes I'm getting from Gallant excite me. It's about a house that, like, from my very vague memory, like, has a darker side, like a flip side, and our main character gets into that side. I love it. Um, 16 year old Olivia Pryor is missing three things, a mother, a father, and a voice. Her mother vanished all at once and her father by degrees and her voice was the thing she never had to start with. Olivia receives a letter from an uncle she's never met, her father's older brother, summoning her to his estate, a place called Gallant. Uh, but when she arrives she discovers that the letter she received was several years old, her uncle is dead, the estate is empty, save for servants. Olivia is permitted to remain but must follow two rules. Don't go out after dusk and always stay on the right side of a wall that runs along the estate's western edge. Beyond it is another realm, ancient and magical, which calls to Olivia through her blood. So yeah, there's like this darker flip side of this house. Um, and uh, I just get such good vibes from this and it's Schwab, so I know that the writing will be absolutely beautiful and I can't wait to read it. So Gallant by Victoria Schwab, 1st of March, number one. Number two in my basket could come as a surprise, but it is House of Sky and Breath by Sarah J Maas, book two in the Crescent City series. Um, the cover for this one is not as pretty as the cover was for the first one, but I liked the first one. I didn't love it, but I liked it. Um, and I know that I will fall victim to the hype around this one. And I liked the first one enough to want to continue it. So again, taking advantage of the deal to get this pre-order in. Also, it's the Waterstones exclusive, which I assume will match the first one with the sprayed edges and stuff. Fingers crossed, anyway. But yeah, book two in that which follows Bryce in Crescent City, which is a place where there's lots of mythical beings, etc. And of course, it's Sarah J Maas, so of course it's a little bit sexy. Here we go, Sarah J Maas's sexy, groundbreaking Crescent City series continues. <laughs> So yeah, Bryce and Hunt, who have made a pact, but I can't say too much more about the rest of what that one's about because that would spoil what happens in the first one. Bryce, who is slightly fae, and Hunt, who is slightly angel, very angel, mm. <laughs> um, sexy, action-packed, mysterious, 
murder mystery, which kind of took me by surprise, I think. Got me emotional in the end of the first one, um, and I definitely think I'm gonna fall victim to the hype on this around its release anyway, even if I didn't pre-order it. So I've just preempted that and pre-ordered it. <laughs> Next up, I've pre-ordered Amari and the Great Game by B.B. Alston, which releases on the 14th of April. This is book two to Amari and the Knight Brothers, which was one of my favourite middle grades of the year. Like, I absolutely loved it. A five-star middle grade from me, which is always slightly astonishing. For someone who loves middle grade, I give out surprisingly few five stars, but when I give one five stars, you know it's good. Um, but yeah, Amari and the Knight Brothers was fantastic, which follows a young girl called Amari who gets into this, I want to say kind of secret society, it's secret to the rest of the world, um, but it's like an academy for gifted, magically gifted kids? What What's it called? I can't remember the name of the school, but it's all like supernaturally, and this like flip side of reality is kind of like Men in Black esque. Um, very supernatural, and she joins this academy school thing to learn about herself and her missing brother. Her brother went missing a long time ago, and she winds up finding something that belonged to him that was given to her which leads her to this supernatural world and finding out a whole lot of stuff and getting tangled up in that. That was a really bad explanation but really good. If you like Nevermore, that sort of vibe, I think you would love Amari. Um, but yeah, book two in that, Amari and the Great Game. I loved the first one, so I need the second one. I don't even know what happens in the second one, um, other than there is a game. So we've got this, like, trial competition type vibe going on. It's mysterious and deadly, but among the winners, a magical reward is the last hope. Um, so yeah, Amari gets involved in um, a game by the sounds of it. But yeah, that one comes out on the 14th of April. Very excited. Loved the first one. Can't wait to read the second one. Next up in my basket is Laura Olympus Volume 2 by Rachel Smith, which comes out on the 5th of July. Um, I have recently read the first volume of this and really enjoyed it. The artwork was beautiful. I know it's been one that's been popular on, is it Webtoon? Um, for quite a long time and has always been available to read online, but I really got excited about it being available physically, so I was really excited for the first volume to come out physically. Gobbled that up, really enjoyed the art style. If you're unfamiliar, it is a Hades and Persephone retelling. But yeah, the art style is adorable, and although I'm not much of a romance person, it was just a really cute read, and I enjoyed it a whole heck of a lot. Um, and it's a beautiful book to own as well, so I'm very excited about volume two of that. Um, of course, where we left off in the first one, I really want to know what happens, and I probably could read it online somewhere, but um, no, I'm gonna wait for the second volume, uh, which comes out early July, and I'm really excited about that, so uh, yeah, looking forward to it. Next up, we have Silverborn, The Mystery of Morrigan Crow by Jessica Townsend. This is book four? four <laughs> in the Nevermore series, The Trials of Morrigan Crow, the one I just mentioned. If you like Amari, then you like Nevermore. If you like Nevermore, you like Amari. Nevermore is such a wildly popular middle grade and again one that got five stars from me. Absolutely love the series. Follows a young girl called Morrigan Crow who gets whisked away to the wondrous world of Nevermore and involved with the wondrous society and all the magical mayhem of that world. I don't know what Silverborn is about at all but I have loved the first three books in the series and I will continue to read the rest of them because Jessica Townsend is a magical author. Her world feels so incredibly realistic for something so chaotically magical and I just love it. And I love Morgan Crow and I love Jupiter North and I love Finestra. Oh, I just love it. I just love it. So this one comes out on the 13th of October, so it's a bit later in the year, this one. In Silverborn, the mystery of Morrigan Crow will travel to places in Nevermore that we've never seen and will meet people from Morrigan's past who will be very important in untangling the mystery of who she is. Ooh, ooh, mysterious. I'm excited. Of course I'm excited. So can't wait to get my mitts on that one in October. 
Next up, coming out on the 3rd of February, so a very early one here, is A Storm of Sisters by Michelle Harrison. I love Michelle Harrison, I love Michelle Harrison's books, like the Pinch of Magic series is so fantastic and although it was, I think we thought it was first just going to be a trilogy, A Storm of Sisters is a continuation of the Pinch of Magic trilogy. We're back! back with the girls. So we're following the Wittishan sisters again, um, and there are secrets hidden beneath the ice. So yeah, it's more of a polar fantasy looking one, which excites me a lot. Oh, and it's on the 3rd of February, which means it could be a good read for Polathon. <gasps> this is a thought I've literally just had in this moment. Very exciting. I will possibly be reading this for Polathon. <laughs> yeah, Secrets Hidden Beneath the Ice, bringing magic home in the frosty fourth instalment of the Pinch of Magic um, series. I won't say too much more because obviously there's a whole trilogy to start with, but I love it. The Widdishan sisters are such fantastic characters. It's another middle grade series that is like so, so beloved. And if you haven't read it yet, I very much encourage you to do so. But yeah, book four in a series that I didn't think was going much further than book three. But yeah, Polar Fantasy, the cover is absolutely gorgeous, gets me very excited, and I can't wait for this one. And it's really soon as well. That's very exciting. Next up, we have book three in the Strange Worlds Travel Agency series. Now, I haven't yet read book two, but I have read book one and loved it. Very much looking forward to getting around to book two at some point, I just haven't done that yet. So I've pre-ordered book three because I think I'm gonna love it. And again, taking advantage of that sweet deal with those points. Um, but this one comes out on the 14th of April. Um, was there another one on the 14th of April? I can't remember. But yeah, 14th of April, so I've got until then to read book two, which is just up here. But from what I know from book one, we follow a young girl called Flick who moves to a new village and discovers kind of a rundown looking travel agency. And in this travel agency, there are a bunch of suitcases and the suitcases contain portals to other worlds. Flick discovers that she can see magic and she's roped into the Strange World Society and her ability to see magic means that she can see that there is a problem and she needs to fix the magic that is leaking before it destroys all of the worlds, including her own. I don't know what happened in book two, so I don't want to know what happens in book three, but really fun adventure, quick read. I really liked it and it's a series I plan to continue, so pre-ordered the next one. Next up we have the fifth book in the Adventures on Train series, which is Sabotage on the Solar Express, which comes out on the 17th of February. Again, very soon. Very much looking forward to that. Adventures on Trains is a series that I very much have fallen in love with over the last year or so. I didn't expect to love it quite so much, and then I fell in love with the first one, the sense of adventure was great, second one was brilliant, third one fantastic, didn't like the fourth one quite as much to be honest, but still thoroughly enjoyed it. Um, and now the fourth one is, oh, fourth one? No, fifth one is on the horizon. Yeah, February, very soon. But this follows a young boy called Harrison Beck who goes on adventures on trains with his uncle who is like a travel journalist. Um, however, whilst on these adventures there are crimes and Harrison's skills with drawing and like perception are handy to helping solve crimes. So not only is he on these fun adventures around the world with his uncle, he's also solving crimes whilst he's at it. So we had the thief on the Highland Falcon, kidnap on the California Comet, uh, murder on the Safari Star, and then danger at Dead Man's Pass. I won't tell you what that is because spoiler. Um, and then sabotage on the Solar Express. Um, I think this one's Australia. So they really are going all over the world with this series and I'm loving it. Such a fun read. Can't wait. Can't wait. So excited. Next up, coming out on the 5th of May, we have a Vashti Hardy book and that is Fire Song, which is the third and final book in the Bright Storm trilogy, which starts with Bright Storm. Um, and then we have Dark Whispers and now we have Fire Song, the cover. 
is gorgeous. I just love it. And I love this series so much. One of my favourite middle grade series and I cannot wait to read a follow on of that book three. Oh, I'm so excited. Book one um, was kind of polar fantasy-ish. Book two was more like jungly. Uh, book three, it's looking like there may be a volcano involved. I don't know. Um, but it follows twins Arthur and Maudie who in the first one they have been told that their father has died and they're told the circumstances around this. However, they don't quite believe everything that they have been told, so they take it upon themselves to adventure to South Polaris to find out the truth for themselves. Um, and that's how they end up on an airship, on these expeditions, engaging in these wild adventures, and I just love it. I love it so much. Massive fan. Um, if you like adventure, if you like kind of the steampunky vibes that Vashti Hardy does so well, she makes such an atmosphere and like the intricacies of how things work in her worlds. I think Vashti Hardy is a phenomenal writer and I, I just can't wait to continue this series and find out another adventure of um, Arthur and Mordy. And then finally, coming out on the 5th of May, we have Legendarium by Jennifer Bell, which is, I believe, a sequel to Wonderscape, which I didn't know was going to get a sequel, but it's a sequel to Wonderscape, which is this in-reality adventure game story where these kids who weren't really friends at the beginning of this at all get sucked into this in reality adventure game which is many years in the future and they have to complete the levels of this game in order to work out how to get out, how to get home, how to get back to their reality. It's so fast paced. I absolutely loved it. From the word go that book was just boom boom boom. Such a fun time and I didn't know there was going to be a sequel but there is and it's called Legendarium and it comes out in May and I'm very excited. The tagline here is the game restarts brave the legend um so it looks like we're going back into the game i'm really excited about it can't wait um doesn't have a cover yet as far as i can tell though so don't know about that but very excited and i really like jennifer bell's writing so points but yeah there we have it there are the 10 books that i have pre-ordered so far for 2022 very excited about all of them as you can tell, otherwise I wouldn't have pre-ordered them. Also excited for those sweet, sweet points. <laughs> but yeah, there we go. That is it for this video. I hope you have enjoyed. Let me know if you have perhaps pre-ordered any of these or if you're super excited about them or if there are any that I have clearly just missed off my radar and you think I should look at pre-ordering as well. I would love to know what's on the horizon. I really need to do better at like keeping up with what's coming out because I'm really bad at knowing what's on the horizon. Anyway. <laughs> Um, that is it for this video. I hope you have enjoyed. If you have, give us a thumbs up, chat to me down below. As I say, let me know if there's anything that should be on my radar um, or if you have also pre-ordered any of these books. I would love to know. But yeah, I will see you in whatever I put out next. Bye!